You have no right to disrespect me if I respect me. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, guys. So today we're gonna be talking about disrespect and how you allow people to disrespect you in your life and then ye complain. And how we allow people to speak things over our lives without realizing that we're allowing people to curse us. So I'm gonna give you the tea real quick. Basically, you should never allow anyone to be comfortable disrespecting you. And this goes for friends and in relationships and more especially in romantic relationships, you need to make it clear that you cannot disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? As a woman, if you don't like being touched in a certain way, you don't wanna do something, then you need to let him know even before you begin the relationship, early stages of the relationship, and that way he'll maintain it all throughout the relationship so don't touch me that way don't talk to me that way you will not speak to me that way and the same goes for friends as well um you need to tell your friends listen you can't talk to me like that you're not gonna treat me like that you know what i'm saying the one thing i don't do first of all i don't swear all right and uh forgive me i will swear in this example but basically you know there's this whole thing of like bitch oh my hey bitch my friends don't call me bitch they don't do that i don't accept it i don't allow it it's not cute there's a lot of power in words and i'm not gonna let you call me that i'm not gonna let you curse me and that takes me to my very next point there's power in words do not allow friends to speak ill of you in a joking manner you know what i'm saying do not allow friends to be like yo bro you're never gonna amount to anything you're useless you're dumb or you know you're just you're never gonna become anything because these are words which are put into the air are put into the air and you speak things into existence mind you and you're just accepting these curses they're placing onto you you know what i mean when people curse you amongst other things do they not chant do they not speak I'm bringing this person to your rather she will she never will make never it. Make. Do they not speak? They speak these things into existence the same way you're letting your friends speak ill of you. And in that same manner, don't speak ill of other people. Because remember, there is such a thing as back to sender. I uh, back to sender, karma, whatever you want to call it. What you say come back to you. It always come back to you. So if you're gonna speak ill of other people and they say they don't take it, they send it back, it's gonna come back to you. Alright, so what I'm trying to say basically is be careful with your words what you say about yourself but about other people careful not to curse yourself with your own mouth and to curse other people with your own mouth all right because curses don't need a voodoo doll they don't need a doll or they don't need to be you know you can you you speak a curse with your mouth you know you speak you, you open your mouth you say i curse you and that's exactly how it happens guys so um that's pretty much all that i have to say all right and um yeah so Honestly, be quick to check people on how they speak to you. Be quick to check people about how they touch you and interact with you because you're teaching them that it's okay to disrespect you. Don't teach anyone that it's okay to disrespect you. And if you teach them from the beginning and you maintain that, they will respect you. And I always say, you have no right to disrespect me if I respect me. All right. So you got to teach people how to, how to treat you and you do that in the way you treat yourself. Remember, it is much more work to undo than it is to do. It always takes twice as much work, double, triple, I'm going to say football. <laughs> wow. To undo stuff that you did. And remember, once words are spoken, words will never be taken back. And a person might take those words home and think about them and think about them. So be careful with your words, what you say to yourself and to other people. And please don't disrespect other people's kids. Okay. Peace and love, guys. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts and uh, how you had to lay down the law and how you failed to lay down the law and how you plan to rectify it.